Welcome everybody here on Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on over there for some Is It Wizards. This is a donation deck that is a little bit different from decks that I normally play. I am not much of an Is It player. Uh, these two, Is It is referring to the color combination here of blue and red. I don't play a whole lot of blue red decks. This is something a little different. And I don't really play a whole lot of super spell heavy decks. You see me more with like the creature decks, the mid range decks. Um, for the most part. So we'll see how we do here. Uh, we'll see how I pilot this. This is something that's not exactly in my wheelhouse. Um, but yeah, basically the goal of our deck is to play some of our creatures, which we do have Lava Runner, which is a really nice aggressive creature. But our, our main ones that we're going to be worrying about are Burning Prophet, which for every non-creature spell gets plus one plus zero and lets us scry one. Dreadhorde Arcanist, which allow us to recast cards from our graveyard. And Adelies, uh, which is like every instant sorcery, all of our wizards get plus one, plus one, including Adelies. These are our, those are like our main threats. We also have Wee Dragonauts that can end games pretty quickly too. Um, so that's basically what we're going to be doing is kind of setting up with some of these creatures, um, untapping and then just rifling through a whole lot of spells that replace themselves. We have Warlord's Fury, we have Samet's Sprit, which just scries but can give our creatures haste. We don't even have to untap with them. Uh, we have Cla Crash Through that cycles, Opt that cycles, and then of course we have our damage uh, producers with Shock and Wizard's Lightning. So we're just going to try to have a flurry of spells and finish our opponent off in one big shot. All right, so the only way to pilot this is to go all in. <laughs> all right, so that's that's our that's our thing. Yeah, we only have yeah the I didn't you know put together this deck, so I didn't put together the numbers or anything. But yeah, only three Arcanist. Uh, I could see that being just a really important card. Um, the three Lava Runner. It seems like Lava Runner is probably pretty good, but I I guess I could kind of see that. I'm not sure if Expansion Explosion will be very good for us. Um, I guess it's it's two mana to have one of these things. Uh, copying a Wizard's Lightning is probably about the, the best thing it can do. I don't think we're really going to be casting Explosion too often uh, with 20 lands, but you never know. I guess we could get to a game where we really flood out with all of our cycling effects. Um, sideboard, uh, we got like some Sahilis. So against like control decks that like against decks that have a lot of removal, we can try to bring in some Sahilis to have like a, a different threat that we can cast all of our spells and make a bunch of one ones kind of thing. We've got electrostatic field to slow down aggro decks. And that's what we have. We got is it wizards? Let's see how we do. All right, we're going all in. I should replace my avatar from Nissa. Nissa didn't help us with the blue white deck. I don't think Nissa's helping us with the Nissa deck either. So I'm pretty sure we're not supposed to keep the five lander. All right, this is what we got. So your version of this deck didn't have the two weed Dragonauts and the, the expansion. And instead you had the fourth Lava Runner, the fourth Arcanist, and one Sahili in the main. So do I just start with the Arcanist? I guess so. All right, 
Oh, we start Arcanist. So now it's this turn. So I guess we're going to want to at least cast one spell for this Arcanist to be able to recast. But after that, I, I think I kind of want to get a Lava Runner in play. Lava, Lava Runner Arcanist is a little bit of a nombo here with the Arcanist exiling the spells from the graveyard so they don't count towards giving this Lava Runner haste. Hostage Taker? Now that's just plain rude. Now that's just plain rude. Give me my Arcanist back. Please don't have Ritual of Soot. Okay, good. Um, We could just slam Adelie's. Yeah, that's something we could do. Slam Adelie's, hope it doesn't die. And then next turn, they're like certainly dead. They just, they don't have interaction. That doesn't seem like the best thing to be doing, though. I'm worried about casting a salmon sprint. It's a little worried about casting salmon sprint into like, you know, removal of casting that on on the arcanist like. Ideally, if they were tapped out, I would be Salmon Sprinting the Arcanist, raising the power to three, and then being able to recast this Wizard's Lightning. But not into a, a Grixis deck full of mana for removal. Wait, only gives plus one toughness. Never mind. Hmm. Didn't hit a land drop, so we have... Alright, so Arcanist plus Sprint would be 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. They're at 11. Alright, well, Lethal's pretty good. Well, we wouldn't have had any... If we would have played Adelie's, Adelie's would not have survived that because we wouldn't have had any mana to be able to play any other spell with Adelie's.
All right, we got game one. Um, I don't know if we sideboard any against like the Dark Nourishment Hostage Taker deck. We got all these Wizards Lightnings for Hostage Takers already. Um, I could go Sahili and try to go wide. I could see them having sweepers. Maybe. Yeah, I don't really know what opponent's doing either. Basically, the one change that I'm considering making is taking out expansion and putting in Sahili. But I'm not going to do that. Yeah, we only have 20 lands, and yeah, for Adelies, you really do want like 4 mana or 5 mana. You want to be able to play Adelies and then play spells. And that's kind of impossible. Yeah, Arcbow is pretty awesome. So cool. Did you, so you replace one of the Vivians with an Arcbow, then Ranger? Oh yeah, Finale of Promise on Yeah, Finale of Promise could be really nice here with like just even like three mana cast three spells, you know, cast a, cr a crash through and an opt. Yeah, instead of that one expansion, a one Finale of Promise would probably be really nice here. It's a good call. I think I'm willing just to cast this opt. I want one more creature. All right, well, there's another creature. Uh, okay, finale was really bad. You tried it? Okay. Act treason? Sure. Let's run some jank over there. All right, so we have two, and then uh, so it's two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Hmm. Looks like we just have 15. Unless we find another damage burn spell. Now, even even if we would find, even if we would opt and find another Wizard's Lightning, we just have 18. So I'm gonna I think I'm gonna save the sprint. Oh whoa. I'm used to having like those things we could actually use one. Whoops. Well <laughs> Thankfully, our opponent's not doing anything, so I could just get to waste a turn. <laughs> All right, got to do this a little faster. And everything. It's rude.
Man, Arena's not messing around with you not being able to think for very long. Trample. So we've seen like sorcery speed stuff with like Chupacabra, Hostage Taker. I'm going to wait till next turn to play the Dreadhorde Arcanist and give it haste kind of thing. Yeah, we did. T we time walked ourselves. Time walked ourselves real bad. Hmm. Guess I don't have anything to draw a card with. Bunch of lightning. Bunch of lightning. We did get a lot of scry value in there too. Hey Methylvin, not no, you don't get a, a deck with just a regular sub. Uh, tier three subs get a donation deck. Uh, but not. Uh, not for just a regular sub, though. Yeah, poor opponent. Time time walked ourselves on turn three, and it just didn't matter. I guess it was turn four. All right, let's see what we got. So I think we're going to just hope to untap with Adelie's on turn three. I'm going to save my spells for, for Adelie's. Got all the Adelises. One of them's got to resolve. Hey, what's up, Zephyrs? Looking good. If I had two burn spells, I would have gone for the burn spells to try to kill the Storm Tamer, but I didn't want to just play like one burn spell kind of thing. Next turn, let's let's find another red source. And let's hope they don't have another trickster. Trickster on Adelie's would be really bad for us.
I don't really like my options. Yeah, we're going to lose another trickster. They just get to activate Terramander. That Curious Obsession card is still pretty good. Guess we need all these negates to against their negates. Seems kind of silly. Like how we're gonna have like enough to cast our creature and cast negate kind of thing. Um. I guess we need lava coil. That at least seems really expensive. It's probably our best option of winning though. Fiery Cannonade doesn't kill all their creatures. You know, it doesn't kill, like, that Storm Tamer. If we bring in Lava Coil, what are we taking out? I don't really know. I don't really know how we're winning this matchup. If anybody that is usually playing this deck can help out of like what to sideboard out like just take out sprints or crash through I mean expansion is like a counter spell copies their their counter spells I don't know. I guess I'm just not sideboarding. I, I don't know. I don't know what to cut, honestly. I don't really want to cut creatures, but and I don't really want to cut the one the one mana spells either. Like expansion is I guess like the only card that's like cuttable. But I could see expansion being pretty nice here of like you know, basically being a negate that can do a lot of other things. Just always have Trickster. We can't hit a third land drop to be able to play another creature.
Um, I don't think that really helps too much. Let's draw some more cards. Yeah, there was an there was an update today on Arena. I don't know. I don't, I don't know anything like what it updated, but I had to I had to go download a new Arena thing. Every single one of these updates got to go to the website and download it over again. Yeah, that's true. Arcanist just has Curious Obsession attached to it <laughs> in our deck. Uh, the update was about bot draft pick adjustments. They don't have a dive down or a spell pierce. Oh, this just happens. We just get to kill the Tempest Gin. All right, well, they bounce off each other, put them down to six. dead. They couldn't tap out with the Storm Tamer, but they did tap out. Get the game on the draw. All right, so I will play Coil over one expansion and over one of these things. I guess the Wii Dragonauts. And then... I'll, go, I'll try one canopy over the other Wee Dragonauts. Or one cannonade, sorry. Not canopy, cannonade. Ugh. 
Yeah, that was a good win. It did look kind of bad for us there, didn't it? But Arcanist, Burning Prophet. These cards did a lot. All right, we did it. We really did it. I want to play Adelie's, but I think that Adelie's probably gets countered. So throw Burning Prophet out there as a test. I guess I could shock in and just have like the wizards lighting up. should be able to resolve now. Alright, what you got? You got to dive down? Or spell pierce. It's annoying. Just slightly annoying. I mean, we'll just recast the lava coil because the dreadheart arcanist is now really big thanks to Adelie's. Hey, what's up, Preach True? Welcome to the channel. Fourth sub of the day. And we are now 2-0? and 2-0. Oh. and oh. Is it Wizards? Getting it done. That Dreadhorde Arcanist card, pretty good. Turns out recasting your stuff from the graveyard for no mana cost. Just having free Snapcaster every turn is pretty good. Oh, it's the fourth month resub, huh? I don't know why it says three months. But whatever. They wrong. Thank you so much, Preach True. <laughs> What's the answer to the question? Is it Wizards? It is. It is Wizards. That is the answer to the question. On the play, I would not have kept this, but on the draw, keeping it. Let's keep drawing land. Ugh, not a land. Let's want another one of these things in play. I don't get any value this turn, but I'm going to be able to... Yeah, like, next turn we would get, like, the two cards we're still gonna get two cards next by next turn but then the turn after that we would have had uh only three we've only had like three cards and now we'll get more all right so let's go sprint and shock 
Let's deal the most damage. We could also try to cycle and try to find land, though. And we'll do that. Let's look for land. Oh! Not you. I can't recast you. Not you. Not yet. Guess we should just keep cycling and looking for land. Yeah, this has a lot of play for a burn deck. That is true. Wow. No lands. Cameo. I would like to ask about any lunar in to the library. All right, finishing up getting the stuff for Pillow Fort Control up on YouTube right now. It's almost ready to go. Still not a land? Uh, which one is... That's the three power one? Oh yeah, because it, it has the Wizard's Lightning as an option. So we'll see if they have a Fog here. Or if we get another turn kind of thing. They don't have a fog, and we get another turn. We win this. Not sure that's going to be the case, though. Basically, if we get another turn, we we win. And if we I think if we would have hit like that extra land drop a little earlier. Could have maybe got this. Yeah, looks like everybody in, in uh, chat's loving this deck. Yeah, this is this is not my normal kind of deck, so I'm. Oh, we're messing it up real bad, but we'll see. 
Well, they should definitely cast their Nexus of Fate first and then activate Tamiyo. They should definitely shuffle that Nexus in so they have a better chance of hitting it. So I'm glad they didn't do that. I am really glad they're playing that card. That card doesn't matter. We had somebody earlier that's played this deck quite a bit that said that they didn't like the they didn't like the one copy of Finale of Promise. Pass turn. Okay, good. No chemistry's insight, that's good. Alright, whiff again. No Nexus. Seek and find. But all of them in the graveyard. All of them in the graveyard. All of them over there. Nothing in hand. No! Oh my gosh, they hit two. Wow. Ugh. Well, that's gotta be it. Yeah, there's different win cons. As you can see right now, Mitch and my opponent played a Sahili. That's their win con. There's people play different things. But I mean, really, honestly, the win con is just having reclamation and nexus. Like that's that's the like nexus of fate is the win condition. What actually deals the damage is really arbitrary when you take all the turns in the game. Yeah, maybe we get lucky. The past is never forgotten. That's gotta be a bad sign. So we need them to not find a Nexus. Like one more Nexus, we're definitely dead because then they have Ascanta um, active. I've worked my whole life. I am really into current affairs. Get it? Because current uh, electricity. Never mind. There are no enchantment removal cards in Grixis. And uh, so you're just trying to disrupt their hand. You're just trying to use. You have discard spells and counter spells. That's your enchantment removal. Or Thief of Sanity that gets cards from the opponent. Thief of Sanity is an enchantment removal spell, too. That's what you got. Uh, that's not a Nexus. Oh, wait, do, do they have a yet another turn right now? I thought this was their second turn. But I guess they have another one according to this little thing over here. It's behind the awesome equip banner. Yeah, if you're behind and enchantments are winning the game, then you lose. Yeah. Yeah, that's just that's how magic is. I think you will find my notes helpful. Um, do I need all these? I want Hmm What's like our worst threat that we can take out? Is it Wee Dragonauts? Is it get to Lava Runner? Lava Runner just seems really slow. It's got to be Lava Runner, right? Like, this thing can just kill somebody in one turn. But I guess the problem with Dragonauts, I guess, and even kind of the problem with Burning Prophet also, is that if they just have their fog effect whenever you go crazy with these things. Like, if you have, like, this Wee Dragonauts that, you know, you play and then you cast a bunch of stuff and then they just fog.
if you don't think Wilderness Reclamation is broken, then you don't understand how vital the mana base is to a game of Magic. Like, just the mana structure of getting, of allowing, you know, like, one land drop a turn and, and everything. It's just the core of a game of Magic. And the amount of mana that Wilderness Reclamation gives you early on in the game is 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 just the definition of broken. It is is not something that should be available in standard. Standard doesn't have the power level of other cards like Reclamation. It's just it's fundamentally the most powerful card in, in standard. No creature. Got two mana, got some cycling. It's like saying that Black Lotus isn't that powerful because it only gives you mana, you need spells, or you need other things. But saying that like some spell that costs a bunch of mana is more powerful than Black Lotus, it's just not... Um, <laughs> Tamiyo is not busted at all. None of the Planeswalkers in Standard are broken. I guess Big Teferi would be the closest one because of how it gives you the extra mana. But none of them are quote-unquote broken. Some of them are incredibly good. But that's that's what you want. You know, you want, you want to have good cards in Standard. You want... You don't want everything to just be like they're not being good cards in standards, then it wouldn't be a very fun format to play. The only the only thing that's that's really broken in standard is Realmost Reclamation. Hmm. We just can't get this third land. It's kind of the problem with playing twenty. I think I scried a land at the bottom, though. There we go. Before we had a threat, before we had a creature. All right, no counter spell. scared of like blink of an eye with these salmon sprints blink of an eye is kind of a scary card well I would like to draw land does land kill them? Do we just have lethal here? So two, four, plus this recasting one of these is six. Uh, and then seven, eight, and then this thing triggering nine, 10, 11. They're at 15. If we would have drawn the land there, we would have had lethal between sprint, sprint, and expansion. Maybe I need to, I need to, count that out and and stop on upkeep and upkeep sprint and and cast two of these up or at least we would have to cast one of them on upkeep maybe even two of them to scry um 
All right, if I cast Adelise, we're just cycling. I think I hold up Negate. Yeah, give me that land. We haven't played a land yet this turn, right? No, we did not. Hey, Dengazak. I'm just looking for a burn spell. That gives us this game. Okay. Hey, good job, Dangazak. You're number 50 right now with a version of the Simic Midrange. Awesome. Would you mind showing me your list of like the things you've changed to it? No, it's not Simic Steel. Okay, you just put a Hadana's Climb instead of a Tamiyo. And that's it? Okay. I could definitely see that. We've talked about how Hadana's Climb could be really nice in that deck. So you're just playing one Tamiyo, one Climb. Okay, cool. I like that change. Adelise gets countered, we're in big trouble. Let's look for another threat. Ugh. It's like the weakest of threats. They're playing red for a reason, they probably have removal. We'll get lucky. We'll, like, we'll be very fortunate if we get to untap with Adelise. There's no, you know, lava coil or anything here. No strike or nothing. That was the worst possible turn for us. Hey, what's up, Sothian? Seventh month, seven month streak. Yes, I know MTG bot's not subbed right now. The owner should be taking care of that later on tonight.
Yeah, it's going to be hard for us to deal all this damage. We need something better than Lava Runner. Well, you just said minus five cards and then plus four cards. But yeah, I definitely understand taking out the Frilled Mystics. So I kind of want to keep the Salmon Sprint for like, you know, draw a creature, give it haste. Kind of thing. I shouldn't be firing off that shock. I should be waiting on that. I'm going to upkeep Scry. That's why I should have waited on the shock. Something like Adelise. So thankfully they haven't they never drew any chemistry's insights or anything like that. And we get to negate whatever they draw. And we did it. Reclamation down. Oh, we need them to draw. We just need them to draw nine lands. And no card draw. But we did it. And we get some gems for it. All right. <laughs> yeah, Grace's would have been really bad. For sure. <laughs> All right, we're at 3 and 0. Doing good. Ah, oh, sorry. Excuse me. Hello. Memorial to genius. Yeah, looks like we got another wilderness wilderness deck here. We can go like sprint lightning next turn. I think it's better to to find more cards though first. So next turn I Burning Profit plus Salmon Sprint. My or we Dragonauts plus Sprint. Like wind and keep an open mind. And 
19. Come through a lot of lands. Need more spells. Jeez. Definitely not more lands. Uh, later, we're playing Selesnya Titans later on there, Gorham. So they don't have a fog that should be lethal. Exactly lethal. All right, no fog. Love no fog November. So let's get these Nagates in here. Take out the two Wii's. Take out two Lava Runners. And go with that. If I keep one Lava Runner over an expansion. No, I want expansion. I like copy chemistry's inside or something. <laughs> That's my favorite month, No Fog November. Hey, Franco. You've been messing with an Abzan midrange deck. Yeah. Let me take a look at it. Ooh, I like it. We're going to have Profit on 2, Adelie's on 3, and then we Profit on turn 4. Hmm. I guess I want Arcanist, though. Arcanist is just so good. So I guess we're going to go... Arcanist first, next turn, Prophet plus Sprint, and recast Sprint. And then Adelie's plus Opt. The focused and disciplined encounter no obstacles. Yeah, I'll take another sprint. I guess I killed Narset. Yeah. Not prepared for this. 
There's that a three mana gain five life. Just spread out our damage the best we can. None of our creatures will die to the, the Kef net blocking. We're gonna just do it so like the Kef net has to chump block no matter what it blocks. That's some power. That's some power right there. They better have fogs. Like, their hand has been awesome. Alright, now we're going to look just for direct damage with all the scries. Or negate. That works too. Why they didn't cast the, like, the fog that they could have earlier and not let me draw negate, who knows. <laughs> yeah, they just... They had us Kanta on two, they played Narset on three, we killed Narset. On turn four, they... Um... Turn four, they played Kefnet. Kefnet's jumping. Turn five, they have Wilderness plus Fog. And they're still dead. They're still dead. Can't handle the deck, they're dead. All right, so I think we're pretty good against Wilderness Reclamation. At least that's what it seemed like. Like, how did, how did, like, they're on the play. How does their deck get better than that? Like, what do they, how do they do better? Turn two has Kanta, turn three, Narset, that it's just gain five life, because they don't, they don't even activate it, but we kill the Narset. Uh, then they play a Kefnet to block, and then they have Reclamation that untaps, and they have Fog. They have that on the play, and they're dead. They don't even get a turn six. Board wipe? What, what board wipe? Simic doesn't play board wipes. Even if they were teamer and they had like the deal two damage to everything, we had like two one threes. All right, yeah, we are four now. Let's get our final boss playlist on. Let's see if Is It Wizards can take down the final boss. Gotta get our final boss emotes in here. Uh, this was... Coffee Master. This is Coffee Master's deck. They're the ones who donated for it. I'm going to mulligan this. Not only do we not have a threat, but I really don't like double island. I think the red mana is just our more important mana. Um, I don't know if he's Coffee Master Ryan. I don't know. I don't know who that is. I just know that their name on Twitch is Coffee Master. And then like a number, like a couple numbers or something.
Hmm. Ugh, didn't get there. I don't like what we have going on here. This looks like a removal heavy deck. We haven't played against removal heavy decks yet. Our last three matches, our opponents have had have not had like any removal, and I liked that quite a bit. But removal heavy Grixis, this has got to be a bad matchup for us. We do have an extra life, though, so even if we lose this match, we got an extra life. We can keep fighting. Yeah, Thought Erasure is heck of a card. Heck of a card. It's just a little wee Dragonauts. Look at that! It's just a little wee Dragonauts. You don't, so you don't need to kill this fairy wizard. No. No reason. That's a little unfortunate. We're not winning through that. Let's get... We definitely need these Sahilis, and then I guess we have all the negates. And then we're taking out Shocks and Wizard's Lightnings. Still want all of our Velocity. And all the threats. This lava runners is probably maybe not good enough of a threat. You play storm tamer instead of lava runner. Yeah, lava runners haven't really seemed like they're necessary. Definitely, like Arcanus is just awesome. I, I can't believe we're only playing three of this card. We take out Lava Runner so we can keep in these Wizard's Lightnings at least. No, Ral's a good option. Maybe Ral's better than than Sahili. I definitely want a sideboard Planeswalker in here. Maybe Ral's the way to go instead of Sahili. Oh, come on. We don't need to draw more lands after I kept 25% of our lands in our opening hand. No! Stop. Ugh. Rip. Oh, we, I needed that Sahili. that we're going to start 
kind of kept the five lands. I thought we were going to just chain off a bunch of draw spells after we land Sahili, but nope. Yeah, we're going to use that extra life for sure. Wow, we've drawn three more lands. They better not have Enter the God Eternals over there. Wow. Drawn four lands and two spells after keeping five lands and two spells. We got half the lands in the deck in the top 13 cards. At least that's a good sign. That means no end to the God Eternals. That's a good sign. All right, time for the waiting game now. Now that's officially half our lands, 18 cards. They're not, they're just, looks like they just have all removal, so I'm not playing anything. Make them go to discard. Kind of thing, because they haven't been playing lands. It's like that's seven cards in hand, so it's like, why, why would I play anything right now? Right. Ugh, I just drew a land, dang. I don't think expansion's still in. <laughs> That's awesome, we Doc. Stop drawing lands, opponent. Honestly, I just shouldn't even place a healer here. Together, we'll create great things, you and I. Yeah, I shouldn't have played Sahili. I could have had my the other negate up. I don't have lethal. But okay, they only had one removal spell, so we're good. So actually, I'm, I'm glad we played the Sahili. Alright, they got seven cards in hand.
Dang. Looks like time for the waiting game some more. Stop. We found another bolus. How can we get seven points of damage in? We can do it. We can do this. I haven't figured out how yet, but we can do it. Drawing two Samet Sprints would help. Oh no, how we draw two Samet Sprints. Right now, though. Hey, Dank. Yeah, doing, doing really good. Good evening. Have been foiled. My schemes are never ending. Let us march into battle and make new comrades. Yes, this looks like a fun new toy. I did not see that we have the Ravnica block format coming up. I did not see that. All right, well, we lost to the first final boss, but we have an extra life. And I hope we don't face Grixis again. Our deck does not line up well there. But we got... Um, we got pretty close there, that other game. Gates of Blazes banned. Yeah, that, it, was, it was banned last time they had it, so that's not a surprise at all. So they've done, they've done the... The Ravnica format before, and they had Gates of Blaze banned. Hmm. This is basically a five card hand. These three drops, like, never going to be able to be cast. And this is not a very good five card hand without any, like, acceleration and just one land. So let's see if we get a six card hand that's better. This is a six card, this is a better six card hand. Lana War Elves. No shocks over here. You're lucky, Scotty-o. Is War of the Spark not part of it for Ravnica? I mean, that was a that was a Ravnica set.
Hmm. Wish we had that shock a little earlier. No. Let's see some panic in the streets. No. Ugh, removal. No. I like my Adelise. I like my Burning Prophet. I like them both. Just don't fight either one. Just tick up. Add some mana. Tick up. Tick it up. This elevator only goes up. No. Oh, Dang it. The darkest timeline. We will rise again. It's probably not a very good block. So cast the Fury to give it first strike. Some people don't want to take three. I'm not sure if our opponent knows how they died there. <laughs> Ooh, Growth Chamber Guardian. All right, let's do some damage. Wow, three lands? I guess I should have cast this first also. But at least drawn the Burning Prophet instead of drawing that, that land. Hmm, sure. Yeah, getting a, a Snapcaster every time you attack, getting a Snapcaster Mage is it's really nice. Phoenix. Um. I don't really have a Phoenix answer right now. So next turn I can go like Warlord's Fury plus Crash Through. They can only block one thing. Oh, stop it. Ugh. No, you can't Wizard's Lightning. You have to have... You have to have three... Like, that costs three... Wizard's Lightning costs three mana. This would have to be three power to cast Wizard's Lightning. Mm. Creatures already have Trample... We get another scry after this.
the heat of my flames. Blah. Your end has arrived. That Sarkin. Uh... I, mean, I thought we had this for sure, but then Phoenix, then Daredevil, then Sarkin. The Sarkin, the ability of like making the, the dragon deal four damage. I'm oh, sorry, deal one damage to our things is like bad against Daredevil also. All right, can we draw? We need to we need to change some spells together. Okay, that's that's perfect. That's that help us chain spells. Come on chain spells. Yes, I will take that. Pump up this. Um. Guess do I want to cast? So what do I want to cast? I want to cast Crash Through, Fury, and cra and Opt. Or I guess I'm, I'm casting two things. I want to cast Opt and Crash Through. Oh, I don't. I don't even have a. You're gonna get big anyway. Guess it doesn't really matter. spells okay no I want to <sighs> didn't full control that uh, but still that'll work that's actually that even makes it better Wait, can I not do stuff right now I guess they're going they're blocking first That's actually even better for me that we're going to blocks first. They better let me respond. I guess I'll go full control just in case. What? Okay. I don't think we had first strike. We had trample. Maybe we had first strike also. Yeah. We did it. It was looking bad, but we did it. All right, let's get double lava coil, take out an expansion, take out a lava runner, take out... I kind of want to take out these other two lava runners, but I don't really know what what I want. We could play Bacon Bolt. Bacon Bolt does cost a lot of mana, though. Maybe I keep expansion in. Or just keep Lava Runner in. Yeah, we this yeah, this deck definitely needs a fourth Arcanist. Yeah. 
<laughs> yeah, we just need Vigilance Indestructible. We could build build our own Zatalpa. Hey, Hawkeye. How are you doing today, Hawkeye? Certainly see them having lava coil, hopefully not. Wow, it's aggressive. Um Ow. I want to double use Wizard's Lightning on the Phoenix. I don't really know what I'm what I'm looking for. Phoenix is the kind of card that's good to get out of there for good. Tilt. How do I get more land? Ugh. I guess. Phoenix making me use double Wizard's Lightning is kind of rough. I could certainly see there being more Lava Coils in this deck. Like, I would rather have Lava Coil than Beacon Bolt. I feel like we need more Lava Coils in here. 
I liked Chandra more than Kiora in there. There's no threat right now, but we have a lot of looks here. So I'm cast I think I am casting this opt. Looking for another one besides just Adelise here. Would have liked to find a two mana wizard that we could have played and then played Wizard's Lightning. And yeah, definitely saving Lava Coil for that card. This is a, a going to be a tough game to win. You won't be mad to tussle with me. They can only punish you if they catch you. <laughs> Expect me to tuck my tail between my legs. Do 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 do. Stop, Stifly Daredevils. We were on the play. Just, you know, debating whether or not to shoot this land or elf, basically. Yeah, the daredevils are really good against us. Good. 
I was hoping that they would kill Adelise and not Arcanist. It looks like they're just killing everything. Killing them all. These decks that have had a lot of removal have been giving us trouble. And they've had four removal spells here with the two Domries, the Dire Fleet, the Lava Coil. First strike's not a thing whenever creatures fight. First strike's only a thing in combat. We gotta get a fourth Dread Hard Arcanist in this deck though. It's like the the big thing. Sit back and watch it burn. Chandra's going to ultimate. Can't really deal with that. Final boss playlist. Not good luck. So, 4-2. and two. Lost our two final boss matches. Those two matches, unsurprisingly, we played against the most removal um, that we had seen. Uh, if you want to try this deck out, just please put a fourth Arcanist in this deck. Just put get a fourth one of those in. Just take out a Lava Runner or something, or Dragonauts or, or Expansion. I think Expansion, Dragonauts, and Lava Runner are the worst cards in the deck. Everything else is like you know, like the four ofs. They're all really good. I think there needs to be a fourth Arcanist, a hundred percent, and probably over one of those other things, get a fourth Shock in here too. Uh, as far as sideboard goes, we need. I think we need more lava coils. I think that card's just great. Uh, I I don't like beacon bolt at all. I'd rather have lava coil. I mean, it does mean that you're kind of dead to Lyra Dawnbringer, but whatever. Or, like basically nobody plays that card. And just having one beacon bolt doesn't mean that you're gonna actually have that against Lyra Dawnbringer anyway. Um, as far as the Sahelis go, that's that was something that I put in there. I was like, something, you need something against removal heavy decks. It doesn't seem like Saheeli's good enough. Maybe it's Ral. I don't know what. We gotta have something against like these removal heavy decks. Like, honestly, maybe just like dive downs. Maybe you have like dive downs or something. Some Charter Course? Yeah, Charter Course would be nice. I think I like Charter Course more than Light Up the Stage. Art of course could be really nice. You have so if you just get rid of those, get rid of these, get rid of that. Have this extra arcanist. Have like four chart of courses. Uh I guess like one Wee Dragonauts. Dark Horse is, is just really good. Maybe three in and get another shock. Yeah, I like how that looks. Niv Mizzet in the side, you just can't ever cast Niv Mizzet. It costs six mana. You can't cast it. You have 20 lands. I really don't think Siren Storm Tamer is good. All right, cool Ranger. Um, but yeah, I don't I don't know exactly what to do with like the the anti. You know, get get this out of there. Get get this in here.
we have like these three slots for some kind of thing against removal heavy deck, some kind of sticky threat. I don't know if like, you know, if we want Ral or what. Sahili, Chandra is another option. Like just playing our own Chandras could be pretty good. Um Kefnets, yeah, Kef yeah, Kefnet could be good. Yeah, Kefnet's a good one. So something like that. I don't I think I'm kind of off Sahili. Yeah, Kefnet kind of seems perfect. Because it keeps coming back against removal heavy decks. So maybe like two Kefnets and one Chandra. Probably just need another land. We get that 21st land in there. Yeah. All right, that looks a lot better. I like that. But yeah, this deck was was really good, and um, I think just like these changes could really help. I think like that match that we played against Grixis, for example, if we just had Kefnet that we could keep on playing, like if we would have had Kefnets instead of Sahili's, where we could keep on playing the Kefnets over and over, and they keep killing Kefnet, but it keep coming back, kind of thing. Frenzy. The problem with Frenzy. The biggest problem with Frenzy is, like, all these cards say, like, draw a card. And, like, drawing cards with Frenzy isn't spectacular. Why Electrostatic Field? Because against, like, Mono Red and, like, other aggro decks, it's, like, it's your defensive card against them that still deals damage. You know, it blocks well. It's, yeah, it's, like, your anti-red card. All right, so that's Is It Wizards. That was a lot of fun. So if you are watching this video later on YouTube, well, thank, you, thank you so much for watching. I hope you hit that subscribe button over there. And uh, that's it here for this video. Hope to see you for another video.